Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel, where we are a community of collectors. Today we have another Loot Crate box and another Loot Wear package. Now this box here is their special Yule Ball box. I have seen ads all over social media about this box. Hopefully it's a great box. We will see in a second. I wanna open up the Loot Wear package first to see if we want to magically change into whatever is inside. Loot Crate sent these items to me, but all opinions are my own. All right, here is the Loot Wear bag. It says Loot Wear on the front. It has some clothing item icons surrounding the bag itself. And it's just a simple pull tab to open it up. There are usually two items in here. Usually one is a t-shirt. And I'm seeing the dark mark already in an interesting color. And I think it's one item this time around. The t-shirt feels a little bit thick. Here is the dark mark on this like, I wouldn't call this a baby blue color, but it's like a sky blue color. Not a color that you would expect to be paired with the dark mark itself. That said, I kind of like it. The one thing I'm not liking is the thickness of this shirt. Now, where I'm located, we are in the middle of winter, so a thicker shirt is nice for this time of the year. Compared to the shirt that I'm wearing now, which is very soft, this one is significantly thicker. I'd probably say this is like three or four times thicker than this shirt here. But I do want to magically change into this one. So the Loot Wear shirt is 100% cotton, and this one is 60% cotton, 40% polyester. So that's why this is a lot softer. Since this is 100% cotton, this is going to shrink. So you may have to wash this a little bit different from your other clothing items. So if you're planning to subscribe to Loot Wear or you are already subscribed to Loot Wear, definitely check each shipment to see what the shirt is made out of. Now having it on my body, it really breathes. It doesn't feel thick, which is nice. So it feels great on. So let me know what you're thinking about the color choice mixed with the dark mark itself. Personally, I think it looks pretty cool and it's almost like it's in the sky. All right, next up we have the Yule Ball box by Loot Crate. This is their Wizarding World box. On the side it says powered by Loot Crate. Here is the sticker on this box. It says Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry and the Yule Ball. Here we go. The Loot Crate box has been opened. Fun inside, it's like a dance lesson. So you start here, left, right, then move your left, move your right, put your feet together, feet together, left, right. This is a fun idea, especially because the Yule Ball is first and foremost a dance. Okay, I'm seeing another wearable item. This one is softer. We may want to magically change into this one out of this one. We will find out in a second, but let's take a look at the pin. This is on top. You guys know I like pins. We'll talk about the box a little bit more in a second. This is a two clasp pin. On the front we have the Wizarding World logo in silver foiling. All right, here we go. What would be a guess for the Yule Ball? Now I know that they're in the middle of like a places pin series. Duh. How could I be so stupid, Madame Malkins? Of course it would be Madame Malkins. So the pin for this box is Madame Malkins, which sells robes for all occasions. Fun pin, we see a silhouette of Madame Malkin herself helping a customer. See the Madame Malkins logo at the top, as well as those scissors cutting some fabric. A decent, nice pin. And of course, that would be the magical place for this box. I would say that's a good start so far. Let's take a look at the shirt because the shirt mimics the box itself. And again, this is a lot softer. What is this made of? How is this 100% cotton? This is so much thicker. So I guess the weave, this might be a little finer cotton thread, but so much softer than this shirt here. Here we have a green shirt. Now it is green. Loot Crate knows I am Slytherin. When you sign up, you choose your Hogwarts house. You can also choose an option that says, you know, you would like a random selection of items or houses each box that comes out. So we will see if they had a red, yellow, blue, and green shirt, depending on what house you're in when we look at the cheat sheet. But for now, we will talk about the shirt and it is green and it has that dance lesson on the front. We have the Hogwarts logo here. The wording that surrounds the, the feet placement says wizards and witches, wizards and witches, and wizards and witches, and wizards and witches, and wizards and witches, and it goes on and on and on and says wizards and witches. But this is a very cool shirt and I think I am going to magically change into this one as well. 
And here is this shirt on. It definitely feels a lot softer and lighter than this shirt when it's on your body. So far, this, oh, what is this? This is what I'm looking at. Oh, it's a magnet set. This is really nice. Look at this magnet set right here. We have Hermione's earrings and Victor Crumb's belt buckle. This is a great pairing right here. Great item. I love the background card that it's on. It almost has a Yule Ball invitation sort of a look. Oh, it is a Yule Ball invitation. <laughs> so that's funny. Let's take this out. So the magnets themselves are taped to this cardboard here, which is a Yule Ball invitation. If you see here, I don't know if you're supposed to take them off or if you're just supposed to like put this on your fridge, but I mean, I wouldn't want to put it on like this personally. So it's on this foam tape to give it some depth. But as you can see, this is a Yule Ball invitation. Nicely made item, two magnets in the back, thick metal, nice detail on the front showing showing the Durmstrang coat of arms. And then Hermione's earrings are the same color metal matching, but with pink enamel making up the flowers themselves. And these are also on this sticky tape to help give it some depth. Really nice item, nice pairing, very heavy. This is the kind of quality that I hope Loot Crate continues with because as I've said in past videos, Loot Crate has a huge opportunity to become a huge competitor in the Harry Potter subscription box game. So that's three items out of three items in this box that I have liked so far. All right, we have a Yule Ball etched commemorative plate. Interesting. Here's the front and the back of this licensed box. And that's another thing about Loot Crate is all of the items are licensed, fully licensed. Now I hope that this is like a, it is, it's like a clear plate. If it were white or another color, it just wouldn't have worked with the Yule Ball theme. So the plate itself is a frosted glass. So this isn't actually etched. It's printed as a mirror image on the back of the plate. And then when you turn it over, it has an etched look to it. So in describing the item itself, that's a little bit misleading. They should have said etched look commemorative plate or something along those lines. But it's a pretty nice item. If it were indeed etched, it would have raised the quality so much more. But the front of the plate itself is smooth. And then you see the three schools, Hogwarts, Bobatons, Durmstrang, and then Yule Ball in the center there. This would display really, really nicely. All right, looks like one more item in here and it's in a black box. What on earth is this? <gasps> okay. This I like a lot. It's a mini ice sculpture. I mean, it's not actually ice because it would melt but it's a mini ice sculpture of Hogwarts Castle. And it lights up too. So it comes with a power cord. I'm gonna go get a plug because I'm very curious to see how this looks when it's lit up. All right, I have a very short extension cord right here. So let's take a look and plug it in. This is a winner. What it makes me want is this larger, but this is a fantastic item right here. The perfect colors for the Yule Ball. It looks like ice. It is lit perfectly, a nice blue hue to it. Great sculpture and representation of Hogwarts school. This would make a great night light. You could have it on your shelves lit. I'm never going to want to turn this off. This is fantastic. Now this is one of those items where you could have year round or just bring it out during the holiday season and enjoy it then and then put it away until the next season. This right here was a great idea. Before we take a look at the cheat sheet, let's take a look at the box. So here's the inside. And what's cool about the Loot Crate boxes is they are reversible. So you can turn it inside out and then use the box for display purposes, or you could reuse the box and ship this to someone. I mean, if I received this in the mail, I'd be pretty happy. So there's a lot you can do with Loot Crate boxes. Don't just throw them in the recycle bin. Think of how you could use one of these boxes to help elevate your Harry Potter display. All right, let's take a look at at the cheat sheet for this Yule Ball box. The Yule Ball. Put on your finest robes and get ready to have a magical evening at the biggest Christmas event in the wizarding world, the Yule Ball. This creates magical loot. Number one, the Hogwarts Ice Sculpture USB light. Inspired by the Yule Ball centerpieces, this light will shine bright no matter what time of year. Yule Ball etched commemorative plate. Serve up delicious holiday treats on this special Yule Ball plate. Number three, the Hermione and Crumb Yule Ball Magnet Set. Dress up your home for the holidays with this magnet set based on Hermione and Crumb's Yule Ball attire. Number four, the Yule Ball Hogwarts House T-shirt. 
Dance the night away in this enchanting apparel featuring your Hogwarts house colors. Okay, so the t-shirts do come in your Hogwarts house colors, which is very, very fun. Madame Malkin's pin. Pay a visit to Madame Malkin's robes for all occasions with this next pin in our Magical Places continuity series. So those are the items in this box, which I would say is a winner. If you saw the Triwizard Tournament box that Loot Crate put out earlier this year, I think that that one still wins as the best box that I've seen from Loot Crate. This is a very close second, however. Let's talk about favorites and least favorites. The favorite item is the Hogwarts Castle Yule Ball Centerpiece. It's fantastic for a subscription box. I think it's a great size. I would like this to be like five times bigger because how stunning would that be? Definitely glad it's not smaller. This is the winner in the box for me. And my next favorite item would be the magnet set. This is so well made. I have not seen anything this heavy come out of a Loot Crate box before. I love the whole package of this with the Yule Ball invitation in the back. I liked that they chose Madame Malkins for the pin. I like the t-shirt. This would be my least favorite because of of the misleading nature of it. It's not etched glass. Had they just etched the glass, it would have really elevated the quality, as I mentioned. So there really wasn't a bad item in this box. I mean, let me know what you guys thought. What was your favorite item? What was your least favorite item? Is there something that you wish they would have done differently or that you would have seen in a Yule Ball box? Leave a comment down below. If you would like to subscribe to Loot Crate or Loot Wear, check the description down below. There is a link as well as a coupon code to save 15% off of your subscription. That coupon code is pottercollector15. Well done, Loot Crate. This was a fantastic box. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, or on Twitter, at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?